My name is Connor Quinlan, and in this review, I'm going to talk about the EV function on your digital camera, what it does, and basically how you can use it. So, you use the EV, use the EV setting on your camera when you have it in a manual mode, like say, right here, aperture priority mode. Now, this is a D300, so the EV button is going to be located somewhere else on different Nikon digital SLR models, but on the D300, it's located right up here. And looks like this. And it looks like this, with a little plus and minus above and below in a little square image. Alright, so now the question is, what exactly does it do? Well, if I'm in aperture priority mode, as you can see here, when I adjust the f-stop, it automatically adjusts the shutter speed for me as well. Well, when I t and when I take a picture, that's the shutter speed it's going to give me, no matter what I can do. Since I can't adjust the shutter speed, how am I supposed to get it to be more overexposed or less exposed? For example, in this picture here, you can see that it's a little bit overexposed. Well, in order to change that in a mode like aperture priority mode or shutter priority mode, you use the EV button, which is located up here. And what it as you can see, it's set to zero here, but I can go down or up according to how bright or dark I want the image. For example, the picture that I took, like I said, was a little overexposed, so I want to underexpose it a little bit. In order to do that, I go down, and as you can see, this 0.3 and 0.7 is how many stops it's being underexposed. So when I have it at minus 0.3, that means I'm decreasing the exposure by one third of a stop. So now when I take the image, as you can see, the image is darker. And it'll be the opposite if you were to adjust the EV up. As you can see here, it's going by third steps but I can change that in my menu. You go to your metering exposure menu and then here you got EXP comp and fine tune. Basically what that allows you to do is change the steps of your EV. Right now I have it on one third steps but you can also do it by half steps or a full step. For example on half step this is what it would look like. Now it goes up by 0.5 or down by 0.5 and then also in full steps, it's going to go up by either one or down by ones. Now as for which setting I would use, I mostly use the third step one because it offers different, it offers more versatility in the amount of steps that I want to go. Half step is also good, especially when I want to get right in between 0.3 and 0.7. I never use the full step one because that just simply does not have enough versatility for me and going um, lowering this exposure or hiring the exposure by one stop is makes a dramatic change in the image so I tend to use one third step most of the time when I'm taking my pictures and that is the prime use of EV on your digital camera